So now we have our FK leg. Let's get on our way to get a nice IK setup for the leg and foot. Well, the first thing we do is hit tab to go into edit mode and add a little target for our IK. Snap the cursor to selection, shift S, cursor selection, and then add spacebar, add bone. We'll grab the step, G key, and move it down till it's roughly in line with the calf. Select that bone with the right mouse cursor, click on its name, and we'll call it something nice like ankle, mm, ankle goal dot L. And that's the IK goal that's at the ankle. Naming early is always a good idea. Now we'll shift select the calf bone and do control I to active bone. And now we'll look at that constraint panel, and we want to limit that constraint's chain length to only affect the leg, as you can see by the dotted line. And now if I move the hip, the ankle doesn't move. It's not perfect because the foot still spins. Likewise, if you move the ankle target around, you'll notice that the foot is spinning around to keep lined up with the calf. So let's make that a little bit nicer. And also, we'd rather that we pivoted at the hip and not at the ankle, because that way we could do those heel strikes that we talked about earlier much more easily. And we need to separate this bone's rotation from its parent and keep it pivoting with the foot rather than pivoting with the uh, ankle, with the uh, calf. So we hit tab, we put the cursor somewhere around where the heel is and add new bone, spacebar, add bone, and grab it and move it down in plane like that. Now we can rename that bone foot.l, because that's what we're going to control everything with, and parent the ankle goal to that bone. Keep offset, because we don't want it to move, and hit tab. Now it's not going to look great, because we still don't have things pivoting, we don't have the foot not rotating yet. So let's make that better by going to edit mode, selecting our foot base bone, and parenting it to our new bone with offset kept so it doesn't move. Now we start to get something looking a lot better once we start posing the foot. The setup, the setup still has problems, but the foot rotation is much more controllable now, and it stays in place when you move the torso around. So that's pretty good. There's still some problems, for instance, one of them is if we grab the foot further, the whole thing will stretch at the ankle, but it'll result in rather ugly stretching and not the kind of even stretch that we'd like to have. So let's clear that and let's fix that in the next step. Save our work so that we don't lose anything and continue.